Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, March the 22nd. And this morning I'm looking at the SI5351 clock generator. Now in previous posts, um, I've, I've looked at it using um, a basic, basic software from Adafruit. I'm using the Adafruit um, PC board and it's connected to um, an Arduino. So I'm programming it from the Arduino. So I looked at that in previous posts along with the I2C bus. And um, what I'm looking at today is um, programming the um, SI5351 for IQ operation. In other words, um, there's two phase lock loops on the A chip. So I'm using one of them, feeding uh, two output synthesizers. And um, one of them will produce uh, basically a cosine waveform and the other will use uh, produce a sine waveform, 90 degrees out of phase. Now that's very useful when you come to software radios. Uh, about 10 years ago, I designed um, several HF um, direct conversion radios, and I used the SI514. Unfortunately, it only had one output, so I had to go through a series of uh, uh, AND gates and AND gates to get the 90-degree phase shift. But with this chip, um, you basically can get the I and Q outputs. So what I've done here is I'm using software that's available from Adafruit. So if you um, load the software from Adafruit, you'll see under Examples, down here, uh, EtherKit SI5351. So they have various options here. And if you look at this one here, the phase, that gives you uh, some code. Uh, it generates, uh, here, I'm looking at the code here. It generates um, an output at 14.1 megahertz and an output at 14.1 megahertz delayed by 90 degrees on the second output. Now, the way it works basically is if you look at the application note AN619, it talks about how you set up the phase delay. But basically, what you do is in the last divider, you make it an even integer. So the even integer um, times the output frequency will give you the phase lock loop frequency. And the phase lock loop has to lie between 600 and 900 megahertz. I've explained that in the actually the blog post. So here he's got a phase lock loop frequency of 705 megahertz. His divider is 50, and that gives him 14.1 megahertz. Notice he's got a ULL there, so it's 14. Uh, there's two extra zeros here. So if you put 14, um, 14 million, 14.1 million there, you'd come to here, and then you add the two extra zeros. That has something to do with the ULL. I'm not a C++ programmer. But anyways, that's, that's uh, just to point that out. So let's run this. So I'm going to uh, verify the sketch and upload it. So uh, now we're looking at it on the PicoScope. I really love the PicoScope. It's it's unbelievable instrument. It's uh, USB, so basically you can just plug it into your laptop and take it anywhere. So there we are. There's the uh, I waveform. That's 14.1 megahertz. I've got two measurement uh, uh, measurements going here. So that's A channel, which is the uh, I. So it's 14.1 megahertz. And there's the B channel. So if I was to measure the, um, the delay, the phase delay, uh, there we go. That would give me about um, uh, pi over 2 or 90 degrees. So another thing I did was I thought, OK, let's um, Let's look at this example. Let's modify it, see how see how well the code holds out. So what I did is I took a whisper frequency. Um, in one of my previous posts, I generated the um, code for three whisper frequencies. So here's here's 15 meters, 21.0946. So I chose an even integer of 30. So when you multiply this by 30, you get 632.838 megahertz. So I just changed the values in there from the code that you're given. And then down here, <clears throat> down here, the other place where you have to enter uh, a number is 30. Okay, so let's run that. So there's our PicoScope now. So uh, yeah, it's working. It's 21.094 megahertz there. And um, if we measure the phase, phase delay here, You get 11, about 11 point, uh, I think it's around 11.75 is, is 90 degrees. You can also look at the spectrum. Let's quickly look at the spectrum here. And we'll go to the full bandwidth here. And 
and we'll do a measurement here and we'll look at frequency at the peak so there we go so there's our 21.094 notice it's a square wave so there's your primary component and then you get um, you get components at three times and five times the frequency so anyways that's a quick look at uh, some handy code there from uh, Adafruit that you can use to generate IQ signals with the S SI5351A